And our big day here in the Intermountain Healthcare uh, Performance Center continues. We're hanging out with Marcus Epps. Marcus, congratulations, man. Uh, big day for you, the family, the rest of the guys rolling through the building. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm really excited to be here, and, you know, I can't wait to get to work. And I know the fan base is very, very excited to have you here as well. And, and let's just start here, right? For you and for a lot of the guys that have came through today, short free agency, right? Like the deal got done very quickly, yeah. uh, and we're recording this on a Thursday morning. So just kind of, you know, put me in your headspace. Like what made sense for you at this point of your career to, uh, to come to Las Vegas? Um, you know, a lot of things for me, obviously closer to home. Um, was big for me, but the biggest thing for me was, you know, I felt like this organization wanted me and believed in me as a player and a person. So, you know, that was that was the biggest thing for me. Yeah, and, and you know, we talked. I was talking with uh, with Robert Spillane earlier today, one of the guys that came in, and, and he was saying that, you know, for him, and I imagine it's like the, the same for a lot of you guys. That fit is so important, yeah, right? That no you know, doubt. you know that you know the the location, the the financial aspect, all that stuff plays a role. But ultimately, it's about fit and where you're going to be comfortable professionally, personally, all that kind of stuff. That, was that kind of the same for you as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, once I kind of had got that feeling. Um, you know, from Coach and, and Ziegler, how much they wanted me here. Um, that was the most important aspect to it for me. Um, so, you know, I'm just I'm, – I'm very excited. I'm very happy that they believe in me that way, and, you know, I can't wait to get to work. You know, going back to, to 2022, you know, we've talked to, you know, guys in our locker room, and, and it's really the same across the league, that playing in every single game, kind of a badge of honor, right? That's how you start the season with the goal of, hey, I want to play in every single game. That's yeah. exactly what you did, man. So, mm -hmm. like, how much is that reliability, that dependability, something that you kind of take pride in? Uh, it's very important. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of coaches say um, – availability is the best ability you know you got to be out there on the field um, so that's definitely something I take pride in is just doing whatever it takes to help the team win you know you look at, at kind of this first group of guys that have come through uh, this morning and, and a kind of common thread with a lot of you guys I mean you look at you and Jimmy and Jacoby guys that have won mm -hmm. uh, guys that have won a lot in the National Football League like how valuable is that skill uh, of just knowing how to win I think it's very valuable you know you can't put a price tag on experience um, so obviously us us having been in those places where, you know, we've experienced some of that and, you know, it's it's valuable that our head coach has as well. So, you know, obviously this is a different environment, different situation. So, you know, we just got to put the work in every day and put it all together here. You know, when you, you look at, at Patrick Graham's defense, and I know that we're still so early kind of in this process of you understanding what the role is going to be, the, the ask and all that. But in a very general sense, when you look at, at Coach Graham's defense, uh, what kind of comes to mind in terms of characteristics and what he's really looking for? Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest thing for me um, that I'm pretty excited about is, you know, just being able to be asked to do different things. And, um, you know, so I'm really excited to get to work with him. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to put it all out there on the field. You know, we, we've heard from a lot of folks uh, across the league, folks that know a lot more football than I do, but just the ability of Coach Graham's defense to be multiple, right? And I know yeah. that's such a kind of buzzword in the NFL, but to, for mm -hmm. it to look one way week two and then look completely different week yeah. three. Uh, how exciting is that for you as a guy kind of there on the back end that says, hey, you know, I'm going to do a lot of things. I'm going to be asked to handle a lot, but it's going to be different. It's going to be fresh and it's going to kind of keep me on my P's, uh, P's and Q's in terms of the mental side, too. Yeah, definitely. It's and it's an exciting challenge for me as well um, to to kind of put myself through that. So, um, you know, like I said, I can't I can't wait to get to work. I think it's very important aspect of, of a defense to be multiple. So, you know, I'm really excited about it. You know, you look at some of these these pieces now that, that are on this Raiders defense. You look at Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, Nate Hobbs. Uh, mm -hmm. You look at, at Robert Splane, who joined us earlier today. I mean, a bunch of guys that are still ascending in their career, right? And Chandler has done this at a Hall of Fame level for a really, really, yeah. really long time. Yeah. But you look at guys like Max and Nate uh, and Robert, yourself included, yeah. guys that still feel like there's room to grow and get better. I mean, that's got to be exciting to join a group uh, of a nice, strong, youthful nucleus here in Vegas. Yeah, definitely. And that's that's one thing about me. I've always kind of, you know, been an underdog, been had that chip on my shoulder. So, you know, I can't wait to get around, you know, a group of guys that are the same way that, you know, are hungry to continue to improve their game and just continue to get better and better each day and, and just prove themselves out there.
you know, we talked about you being a, an L.A. guy, and, and I know that you weren't there when the Raiders were in Los <laughs> Angeles. But, you know, you, you look at this uniform, man, one of the most iconic uniforms yeah. uh, in all of the sports, the silver and black. Everyone feels some type of way about it. It's one of those, those uniforms that elicits emotion, right? Yeah. Like, how excited are you to kind of have a chance to put that thing on for the first time to run out the tunnel <laughs> at Allegiant Stadium? It's going to be a blast, huh? Yeah, man, I, I can't wait. Like you said, that, that uniform, it's, it's legendary. It's classic. It's iconic. And, you know, I, I'm really excited about this opportunity. And, you know, I can't wait to put that uniform on for the first time in front of Raider Nation. You know, and I, before we let you go, man, I had to ask, and I kind of teed you up before we started rolling. How does a guy from Southern California, right, Huntington sure. Beach dude, dude from the OC, right, how do you end up going to school in Wyoming? Um, well, I wasn't really, I wasn't recruited much out of high school. And, um, you know, through some connections, I was blessed with the opportunity to be able to walk on at Wyoming and, you know, kind of just bet on myself, took it and ran with it. And, you know, now I'm here. You know, it's so cool, and I was talking to Jacoby about this earlier, too, where I have such a soft spot for the undrafted guys, guys that have gotten better year after year after year that didn't have anything given to them. And it feels like, you yeah. know, a dude like you has to walk on in college. I mean, that must feel kind of like a really special kind of full circle moment now where it's like, yo, I'm a free agent. I was a priority guy yeah. for, for a team, and, and I'm, now I'm kind of being valued and appreciated for what I bring to this game. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely, it's definitely a very good feeling, and, you know, um, I don't really too much like to let those kind of things creep in because I always want to have a sense of urgency and, you know, of, of continuing to get better and, you know, never being complacent. Um, but, you know, this was one of those times for sure that I've, you know, reflected on my, on my journey a little bit and, you know, I'm grateful for it all, grateful to be here. And, you know, like I said, I can't wait to get to work. Yeah, well, still a lot to go in the journey, man. We're just getting started here yes, in Las sir. Vegas. Well, congratulations, yes, Marcus Epps. A big day for you, the family, uh, everyone that's coming through these hallways today. Best of luck. We'll talk to you soon. All right, brother? Thank you so much. Appreciate you.